So today I'm going to show you a remedy that can very quickly get rid of the cravings to not just alcohol, but sugar as well. So when someone craves alcohol, what is it that they're looking for? Well, it has something to do with reducing stress, anxiety, pressure in the body, right? It gives them the sense of relief. Same thing with sugar. Sugar makes people feel better, right? But it comes with a little bit of a package, which I'm not going to get into in this video. But I'm going to tell you one simple thing that you can take to very quickly get rid of the cravings, especially if you're in the situation where you're basically addicted. And that substance is something called L-glutamine, okay? But it's very important to understand why L-glutamine will work for this problem. Now, glutamine is the most abundant amino acid in your entire body, okay? And glutamine turns into glutamate, which is the most abundant neurotransmitter in your brain. And you, when we think about neurotransmitters, you probably think about serotonin, dopamine, things like that. People don't think of glutamate as a neurotransmitter, but it is. It's the most abundant neurotransmitter in your brain. And without getting in too deep into the woods, glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter, okay? Others are inhibitory. And there is a problem when you have too much glutamate. It can create kind of a toxic effect, actually giving you anxiety, depression, insomnia, things like that. But the way that it really works in the brain, there's a whole system going on. And so uh, the glutamate actually helps support an inhibitory neurotransmitter called GABA, which is like the brakes. So when your body is in a healthy state, you have this nice balance of the accelerator and the brakes, so you really don't have to worry about it. But the amino acid L-glutamine actually increases gluconeogenesis. That's the production of new sugar. So that amino acid actually can very easily and quickly turn into glucose and feed your brain cells and make them happy without the side effects of like sugar. Your insulin will not spike because it's coming through a different pathway. It's coming from a, an amino acid, not a straight glucose. So it's a quick way to supply energy to the brain without all the bad stuff, satisfying the uh, lack of fuel, uh, changing your mood very quickly, reducing uh, stress, pressure, anxiety, and decreasing the need for alcohol or sugar. But glutamate does a lot more than just what I mentioned. It also is the precursor for glutathione, which is the main uh, antioxidant in your liver. It uh, supports the cells of your intestines, helping prevent leaky gut. It is a very essential precursor to help heal the body when you're going through an infection, recovery, surgery, trauma, or stress. You need more glutamine in your body. Now, what causes a deficiency is alcohol. So alcohol blocks this glutamine, okay, and all the good effects that come with it. You can imagine if you're drinking on a regular basis over a period of time, you're just depleting your glutamine and glutamate and setting yourself up for all sorts of problems down the road. Now, the other thing that causes a major deficiency of glutamine is chronic stress. When you're under chronic stress, you actually get an increase of glutamate in a part of your brain called the hippocampus, creating all sorts of problems with memory and learning. But in the frontal cortex, we have a decrease of glutamate, and that's going to affect your attention. You'll probably develop attention deficit problems. In another part of your brain, it's called the amygdala, which is very similar to your adrenal gland because it, it's everything to do with stress and uh, stress responses, but it's in your brain. You have a decrease of glutamate from chronic stress in the amygdala, giving you the sensation of anxiety. Another thing that can cause a deficiency of glutamine is overtraining, like in exercising too much without letting yourself recover, having trauma, any trauma, surgery, injury, things like that, a chronic infection. And let's say you're just not consuming enough glutamine in your diet. Now, what foods are high in glutamine? Well, you have beef chicken, fish, eggs, dairy, okay? You also have cabbage, dark leafy green vegetables, kale, spinach, parsley. If you want to get rid of the cravings for alcohol and sugar, okay? Of course, I'm assuming you've already tried the ketogenic diet 
and intermittent fasting, which will ultimately correct it. But you might need something to handle the cravings quickly so you can actually do the ketogenic plan. And so I recommend taking between two to five grams per day. So by taking this in a supplement form, making sure you're eating the foods high in glutamine, which basically is a ketogenic diet, you can really start to pull yourself out of this situation. There are other things that can also help this whole glutamate cycle. Regular exercise without overtraining, getting enough sleep, and doing whatever you can to reduce stress will greatly help. And the less alcohol you drink, the less deficiency you'll have. Now, to ultimately fully correct this problem, you need to be on the healthy version of the ketogenic diet with intermittent fasting. And for that information, check this video out right here.